When was the last time you ate bongo chobi or Cameroonian black stew? Well, keep watching, do not go away. hello 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 beautiful people how is it going i hope everyone is doing great today i will be showing you how to make bongo chubby a very very common meal in cameroon i will just call it cameroonian black stew if you're new here please hit the subscribe button like this video and turn on the notification bell to start off right here we'll have the ingredients i'll be using some leeks some basil tomatoes you don't need too much tomatoes in this recipe fresh parsley some scotch bonnet if you don't want it spicy you can skip that i have some green onion you can use either the green onion or the leeks okay you must not use both but i just prefer using all some ginger and garlic at the back there i have one medium onion so for the dry ingredients right here i have some african nutmeg black pepper so for our main ingredient ingredients that is the bongo chubby ingredients or the bongo ingredients this is just merely burnt um alligator pepper and yeah it is burnt so that's what gives the soup the black color i have some blue white pepper at the back here yeah, i have some country onion that is optional salt for the country onion i just put off a little bit of flavor so you can skip if you don't do not have it i have some jangsa here this is just like an oily seed you do not need to use too much of that okay and lastly i have some seasoning powder to taste so now you want to go ahead and slice the fresh ingredients then you're going to blend them with the jangsa until it is smooth so if you are using the already ground jangsa i will suggest you blend it together with this so that you're going to avoid a situation situation where you're going to have like lumpy jangsa inside your stew so just smoothing everything by blending with the fresh veggies Now we are just going to set that aside. The next ingredient, we have our fish. It has been scaled, gutted, perfectly washed. I'm using Titus fish or the mackerel. Now bring in the blended ingredients. And the next thing you want to do, you want to add a little bit of water in there. I will just rinse off my blender. Then you will now bring in all the rest of the ingredients. That's the dry ingredients, except the cooking oil, okay? Do not add the cooking oil at this point. So bring in the bongo spice. You can get this from an African store or you can order this direct from Cameroon. You can also get this from Etsy, okay? So when you bring all the spices, if you like too much water or uh, if you want it thick, you can just control the amount of water you put inside the soup. But you can control the amount of water as you cook. So now go ahead, give that a good mix. I will still, go, I will still add a little bit of water in there and give that a good mix until well combined. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy In the pot, adding some cooking oil, and you are going to put in the mix. You want the oil to heat up for about a minute or two, then bring in that fish mix in them cover and let it cook for about 20 minutes until the fish cooks through okay so guys if you do not want to use fish you can go ahead and use chicken pork beef lamb goat whatever proteins you choose or whatever meats you choose 
now cover the pot and let it cook if you want you can add more water me i want more water so i'm just gonna add a little bit of water approximately i use about a one cup of water or a cup of water okay let that cook for some time and this is how it's looking as cooking for a while i just turned off the heat and i just gave that a good stir and it's looking so good and you can go ahead and serve this right away with some plantains yams or whatsoever any starchy sides you have and it is so delicious i know sometimes the color of the soup is sometimes like unappetizing but trust me this is very very flavorful and super super tasty like all those traditional spices and ingredients everything combined together the alligator pepper that's the burnt alligator pepper and all the green spices combined together oh my lordy 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 it's amazing super delicious yummy especially when served with plantains so so good and thank you so much for watching we've come to the end of this video check my website and the description box for the list of ingredients until we meet again bye for now and keep supporting your girl love you all